Hello, Taurus. Elsie here to do your reading for the month ahead. We're going to look at the month of December. I'll come back uh, next week and we'll do uh, the weeks ahead, but let's look at the month ahead, the overall energy for the month for you, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you and I thank you so, so much for the ways you love on me on this channel. Keeps me coming back with these bonus reads. Thank you so much for um, being in the comments and your thumbs up. It really does matter in the growth of this channel. Thank you so much for all of you, whether you're logging in here as a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or you have another sign. Thank you so much. Okay, let's take a look. Let's start out with uh, coffee cup uh, oracles here. Amira's coffee cup oracles. Let's find out what's going on here for overall energy. We have the eye. We have pearl. One more. All right. What do we got here? We've got envy. Hmm, interesting. So I feel like Taurus, you know, the thing is, is when you do good in your life, not everybody's happy for you. <laughs> That's the truth of it. Not everybody's going to be happy for you. I feel like some people are, are going to be giving you the evil eye or somebody or, you know, there's going to be people in your lives that are envious of you. And that may contribute to why they treat you some type of way, right? Um, we do have the next one that came out is Pearl. It says a hidden gem. So something is going to release itself or going to divulge itself or going to show itself in the month of December, whether that's a person or a situation, something that you really value. We have a uh, lock and unlock. Okay, so there's a key to something here. Very interesting. You are going to unlock something. You're going to see or find a hidden gem. And this could be a person, this could be a job, this could be something that you value, something that is beautiful, something that brings you happiness. For some of you, what's going to be coming into view is you're going to figure out who the person is who is smack talking you. Because truth is, is that people will be envious of you and the way that you live or the way that you're resilient. Maybe it's not even your material possessions, Taurus. It might be that you're resilient, that you keep going no matter what. I want to say that you're protected. You're protected and I wouldn't worry too, too much about it, but I do feel, you know, these, these two people are uncovering something that is precious, right? This person has a key and they're going to unlock something. There's a pearl here, a hidden gem. All right. Let's find out what's going on there. Let's look at the bottom of the deck first. We've got the wolf. Um, cunning and stealth. <laughs> Taurus, it makes me feel like someone's coming in under the radar or there's been someone that's been under the radar. For some of you, it's the person who's quite envious and they, this person could also be someone, the person who's cunning and stealth and the one that's under the radar could be a person who's had some sort of a realization about you around the full moon. I'm just looking at the full moon uh, out the window here as I, uh, as I read, it's kind of beautiful. Um, well, it's not quite full, right? Because we're a couple days past, but nonetheless, we have the wolf. All right. Let's take a look at some Lenormand, figure out what's going on here. We'll get some extra different kind of energy for the month, Taurus. Tell me about Taurus for the month of December, 2023. Can you believe it's the end of the year? How quick did that go? <laughs> for those of you who are in your thirties, right? You know that you're at the top of the mountain on that skateboard. And here we go. Right? The, the years go by super quick once you get into your 30s, especially once you have children and all of that stuff. You know, a career going and all of that. Yeah, okay. So we've got the sun. Something's coming to light, Taurus. That's what it feels like. Something that you have um, that's been hidden from you. Um, and it's something that's going to change your life. We have the ace of pentacles on the bottom right hand corner here and so that is uh the ace of diamonds tell me more please about taurus tell me more about taurus please for the month of december 2023 Ooh, <laughs> this is romance y'all that's romance somebody's about to speak up about their feelings they've been thinking about it for a long while it's card number nine right? Um, we have uh, the Queen of Swords in the bottom right hand corner. Somebody is going to be uh, liberating themselves. They're going to speak about their feelings or speak on their feelings. The Sun is card number 31, which is a four. There's stability, something that's going to change your life. And we've got someone who has romantic feelings, someone who hasn't, who hasn't spoken up about that before, 
Taurus, so I don't think that you're aware of this person, or if you are, you've got a feeling from this person. You've gotten a feeling from them before, and I feel that this person is going to liberate themselves or speak up, be very clear, concise, and very direct and assertive about the feelings that they have for you. This person is a leader. They are a leader of people. They are a person who is... Um, who forges the path. That's the, the polar bear, right? Um, the polar bear forges the path. Now, I live in a province in Canada where uh, way up north of me, long ways away from me, there are polar bears. And what I do know about polar bears is that they never lose their scent. Taurus, someone never stopped thinking about you. Someone never lost your scent. I feel like with the, the 10 of clubs or the 10 of wands in the bottom right-hand corner, um, I feel like someone has fear of dropping burdens. It's like this person is, is used to living in chaos or has carried burdens around for a long time. I feel like someone is hot on your trail. Honestly, <laughs> someone's hot on your trail. We have card 15 and that is uh, devil energy. So I'm going to say that this person is a leader, but I feel that this person is fearful. Fearful of coming forward, I feel like you're going to see them in the near future. This bear is is literally pointing into the near future. So um, yeah, you can go you can go to Churchill. Uh, you can go anywhere with this polar bears. And uh, if a polar bear catches your scent, that polar bear, if you come back a year later or two years later, that polar bear will find you. It will find your scent. It never loses a scent. Bottom of the deck. Wow, divine timing. Look, three and seven is one. Something's coming up here, Taurus, and it's been in the collective Taurian energy for a while that something is on its way. Someone who's been stealth. Someone who is quite cunning. Someone who's very smart. Look, Taurus, <laughs> for the most part, somebody needs to outsmart you. They need to sneak up behind you because you're going to catch their you're going to catch their vibe, right? You're you're solid to the ground, Taurus. You're going to catch the vibrations. It's almost like, I don't know if probably many of you haven't done this, but I have. Um, if you sit on the ground and uh, you're around uh, animals that are running, like um, uh, big animals, like horses or cattle, or, you know, you're going to feel the rumblings in the ground. And that's what I think you're feeling. And I've heard it in my private reads and I've heard it from you guys in the comments that something is coming. You feel the vibrations. Something is just around the corner. I think that's what we're talking about here. I really think that the person who is the leader, who has never spoken their feelings to you, is the very same one who has envy. I really feel like this person feels that you have, that they are envying the people that get to interact with you every day, the people who are honest with you. It feels like, um, yeah, envy that could be one and the same. Is somebody here, I feel either you or them, is about to unlock some sort of a hidden gem. Some of you could know this person already, but I don't feel like you've dated them if you do, because this person has kept their feelings under the radar. You may know them and you may have felt it from them before, but just didn't act on it, right? You, you decided to let that person come forward. Mm. We've got the Seven of Cups in the upright. Tell me more about Taurus, please. For the month of December, tell me about Taurus. There it is. We have the lovers, and it's coming up right under these tulips here. It's coming up right under the tulips, the Queen of Swords. Someone is literally about to make themselves known. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, right? So it's not going to be for all of you. Yes, yeah, someone's getting in their vehicle. Someone is coming to see you, Taurus, and... This person, I feel, is going to, they are on a path that they've never been before. And what I want to say is maybe they've wanted to approach you or wanted to forge a path toward you, but they haven't done that. One in five is six. We've got the lovers here, which is number six. I like it. Let's keep going here. We've got the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, all in the upright. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. So there's something here that's been coming for a long time. And we've had this conversation 
hundreds of times before. <laughs> you know, we've we've I, I've read about this and we've talked about it in the comments and in your private readings. There is something coming here, something, and it's like you're now focused on it. Before it was just like a rumble. Before it was like, I feel it, maybe I'm wrong. Your intuition you thought was off. But I really do feel like you're now focused on whatever is coming in the distance here. And I do feel that it is somebody who is ready to speak up. We have the Queen of Swords on this card here. And so we have the Queen of Swords here. I think that you're focused on it. I think you see it coming in the distance. Or if you don't see it, I, I feel as though you feel it coming in the distance here. This person that's coming towards you, Taurus, is someone who's incredibly attracted to you. Someone who sees you as the wild card. <laughs> someone who sees you as the wild card, the one who is who's not scared to step outside the lines, who's not scared to color outside the lines. They're going to go and get what they want to get. I feel like this is part of the appeal, that you speak up for yourself and that you are your own person, that you are growing and growing and growing. And you don't need anyone else to help you grow. I feel like you have been growing regardless. You've been on a, on a new path or you're waiting at the crossroads here possibly. Um, I do feel like they're this lover's card here. I, I feel like things are about to go off. <laughs> it feels like things are about to go off because the lover's is here and the two of wands is here. This is a, a somebody being at the crossroads. We've got the seven of cups here. The seven of cups is, of course, being overwhelmed. But you know what? Someone's got their focus on you, the star, on the one star. There's the focus. Somebody's focusing on the star. So I feel like although there is... Oh, there's an overwhelming feeling because the sun is here. It's like someone is, is being told to move forward to you. That's what it feels like. Someone is being, I want to say kind of beckoned. Someone is being beckoned. Now, it could be you calling them in, but I think that the universe is helping you now. And I think that the universe is saying, look, it's time to drop your burdens with Taurus. It's time for you to voice, to voice it, tell them, let them know what kind of feelings you have. And go for broke. The lovers is in the center of the reading. That's the heart of the matter, right? So we do have uh, Gemini energy. We have Cancer. We have uh, Sagittarius, but also Aries and Leo in this reading. We have Libra, but also um, Aquarius and Gemini in this reading. And we have the Two of Wands. It is divine timing, Taurus. That's why everything is taking place this month, I believe. You've been waiting a long time. Wow. For new love. You've been waiting a long time for new love. That is the... Page of Cups. You've been waiting for it. You're prepared for it. You are waiting in your prepared nest, I want to say, that you have whatever it is that you need that makes you comfortable in the 3D world. We have Nine Pentacles. Nine Pentacles is the place where, look, Elsie, I have everything that I need in terms of money, in terms of the place I live. And I'm not saying that you're overly wealthy, but you're comfortable, right? You don't have really you know, this is a crazy economy and you might be one of the people who's watching your money but is not really worried about your money. I feel like you're confident that you can carry out whatever it is that you need in your pentacle world by yourself. This is the place to be, y'all. You want to be here. You want to be in a place where you don't need anybody. You want to be in a place where you don't need to date a chef because you got no food. Or you don't need to date a banker because you got no money. You know what I mean? I feel like you, you really need to get yourself in this place if you're not there. I feel like you've already kind of moved on and you've made this beautiful life for yourself here. But you've been waiting for a long time for this love. And I, for some of you, like for all of you, this is new love. I want to say new love because this is someone you've never dated before. You've never had an emotional, um, romantic kind of connection with this person. This person has never voiced their opinion to you as it, as it pertains to how they feel about you, Taurus. All right. Let's get some clarity. with this little deck here to clarify these these cards here let's find out what's going on here for Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus Jupiter tell me about Taurus tell me about protection and envy I feel like somebody's been watching you that person's holding an eye I know that that's you know the evil eye I know that that's protection um, against the evil eye but I feel like this person has been watching you Taurus we have the ace of pentacles look you're in the nine of pentacles here right you're in the Nine of Pentacles. There's the Ace. And by the way, the Ace is on the table with the sun shining on it. <laughs> 
So I feel like uh, someone is trying to find the courage to uh, invest, to invest in someone, to invest in you, I feel. Tell me what's going to be unlocked here. Tell me what's going to be unlocked. I right, got one more card here, the sun. That's going to go with this uh, protection here. So I feel like you, with the sun here, we have Leo. Uh, we have double Leo here. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of an investment. Someone has had a breakthrough. Someone's had a, had a, had a breakthrough in the way that they feel. It's like someone right now, Taurus, I feel it's, it almost feels like as you're, as you're watching this, it's like over the last couple days, someone has changed their mind about yours, had a breakthrough about where they want to invest now or where the, where the investment is, where the smartest investment is. Someone is trying to find the courage to come forward. All right. So what are we unlocking here? Tell me what we're unlocking. We unlocking here. What is Taurus unlocking? We have the Hermit. You're unlocking wisdom, my friend. And we have the Queen of Swords. Look, that's the third time the Queen of Swords. One, two, three. We've got the Queen of Swords here three times. There is going to be a conversation. You are about to be um, pulled out of your Hermit mode. So if you're the person who hasn't really been social, hasn't really been going out, I feel like you are going to be uh, pulled out of your hermit mode. The Queen of Swords is here. Conversation is to be made. I feel like you're being unlocked. <laughs> That's what it feels like. We've got um, the Moon card here and you don't see it coming. You might feel it coming. You might feel that tower swaying in the wind. <laughs> I'm just saying. So what is going to be unlocked here is going to cause upheaval, change. It's going to cause an illusion to fall. And for some of you, you're not really sure about the person who has feelings for you. Maybe you felt it from them before, but they didn't pursue, so it confused you. Um, we have uh, the Ace of Swords. There is going to be a conversation. You're going to get some sort of a communication, Taurus, that is going to rock your socks. It is. And tell me what the hidden gem is, please. Taurus, you're getting communication that is going to rock you to your core. Tell me about the pearl. This person is bringing an opportunity, Taurus. We have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. We saw the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This person is the one who is bringing the opportunity to the Queen of Wands, the one who's beautiful and kind and a go-getter, the one who's helping other people but is not afraid to say what they got to say, do what they got to do to get what they got to get. And that is the appeal of the Queen of Wands. Not only is she beautiful on the outside, but she's a powerhouse on the inside. I say she because there's a woman on the card, but please understand we're not reading body parts here. We're reading feminine and masculine energies. And we have somebody who's just about ready. You can see that there is just one thread holding that together. This person, once they cut a string from somebody or something, some situation or a person that they're with, I feel like they're coming to you. And I feel like you've been waiting for this for a long time. I feel like it's going to happen in the month of December. So I feel like the hidden gem is that somebody is coming to you with an opportunity, Taurus. Bottom of the deck, we have the star. And... Um, I feel like you've been hoping for this. You've been wishing for this. This is going to be a happy moment when this person comes forward. Because I think you already kind of suspected that this person felt the same as you. But possibly you didn't... Um, possibly when you when you told them, maybe you told them your feelings, they may have not offered it back. Or maybe they might have felt uh, made you feel like they weren't interested. Taurus, they're interested. They are the sun is here. It's about stability. Look, the ace of, of pentacles is here, right? It's about stability. It's about love. Somebody's got wisdom now and somebody has grown and they their feelings for you have changed. But now they know they have to forge a path forward and they're a little bit scared. I'm just saying that this connection with you is so deep. It's such a deep connection to us that it scares the heck out of them. Tell me more about this uh, card number nine with the Queen of Swords. 
we have we have the uh, Knight of Wands. So the person is not going to approach you in a way which is unstable. So I mean, they're not going to show up. They're not going to be impulsive. They're not going to do something that is going to rock their chances of them being with you. The Knight of Wands comes out in the reverse when the person is not necessarily taking action or they're being very careful rather than, and they're, they're offering, want to offer stability. So even though they're super, they're super attracted to you here, Taurus. I feel like this person is coming in slowly. They're coming in quietly and they're not coming in passion first. We have the star. This person is hoping beyond all hope that the star, which is you, is somebody who feels the same way they do. Does Tell me about Taurus. Does Taurus feel the same way they do? Yep, you sure do. You've been waiting for this, Taurus. This isn't something bad. This isn't something that you, you know, someone from the past that you've dated before and don't like. This is something that you're quite excited about. And it is something that is going to give you balance. I feel like there's hope here. Healing. This is going to be a healing time for you and this person. They are moving fast. Somebody, once they make this decision, Taurus, they're getting in their vehicle to forge the path toward you here. They need to drop their burdens. But I want to say that as they approach you, they still have their feelings under the surface. This is Cancer energy. Tell me about the chariot, please. For Taurus and Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Yep, they're heading down this, this path. Now, the challenge here is that this person and you have not spoken for a while. And I don't think it's for any other reason other than you're not really their friend. Um, but they do have, they've been thinking about you. They have feelings for you. Um, they've been thinking about telling you how they feel about you. The Five of Pentacles tells me that there's been no communication. And for some of you, it could be a long while. But we have the Knight, uh, sorry, the uh, the Page of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Wands. So it tells me that this person is going to communicate with you. I think you're going to get a message about going out somewhere. The biggest challenge is that you haven't spoken to this person, but they do want to give you reciprocity. There's one uh, pentacle with the Page of Pentacles, and we've got five pentacles as well. That's six. The Page of Pentacles is all about possibly a gift. So this person might come flowers in hand, right? They might show up with these flowers in hand. Yeah, or you might get some sort of a delivery from them with a note and flowers, something like that. I feel like they're going to communicate with you some way and it's going to be soon. I, I don't know if it waits till the week ahead, to be honest. It's going to be soon. It might be in the week ahead. Nonetheless, tell me why we're at the Two of Wands. The Queen of Wands is in the reverse. Look, I feel like your person is at the crossroads of their life. And I feel like this queen of wands in the reverse is someone that they're no longer with. And they are moving forward here. So I feel like they have, they've shut down this connection. I always see the, the uh, not always, but in some cases, depending on the cards that are around it, I do see the queen of wands as someone who could be the other woman. I feel like um, there is somebody here who is equally attractive, equally as attractive as you, someone who's also a go-getter, but someone who's very selfish very egoic, someone who's more about them than they are about their partner. And I mean, it's good to be about you. It's good to have your self-care in place. It's good to have the time that you need for you. But this person is selfish and egoic. This person acts out like they'll, they'll, this kind of person will flirt with everyone in the room, even your husband. Do you know what I mean? Like this person really doesn't care. They take a lot of care of the outside. There's so many people in our society who are doing whatever they can to make the outside appealing, but the inside, there's one marble rolling around in there. There's no personality. This person just gets what they want at a pure physical attraction, right? So I feel like that there is a door closing here between your person and someone else. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about, uh, what this person doesn't realize is that once they walk through this portal here, once they walk through this portal, that they are going to be moved into another timeline, the timeline that's with you. So we do have two cards here that represent the, the fixed signs. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. We do have um, the other signs that I mentioned here before. 
I feel like there's a bunch of changes coming, Taurus. Because there's a bunch of changes in your person's life, that's going to roll over into being changes in your life. This person's going through a bunch of changes which are going to cause some sort of an ending in their life. They're leaving a relationship, selling a house, making a huge, uh, big change. They're closing something and they're at the crossroads of their life. I feel like there is a relationship that is has gone uh, sideways here. Yeah. I, I, when I when I first saw the queen in the reverse, I thought somebody dumped her. But, you know, <laughs> that's what it feels like. She's been dumped on her head, kind of. So I, I feel, Taurus, that uh, we should go into the extended. There's still a lot of reading to do here, and this reading has already gone too long. But we are going to talk about this conversation. We've got a tower and the ace of swords here. We're going to talk about this conversation. We've got Pisces and Cancer energy, which tells me somebody has been thinking about you. They have emotions for you. The queen of swords is here. They're going to liberate themselves from that moon energy. We'll talk about the conversation. And then we have... Um, we have this uh, death card with the, the Queen of Wands. I do feel like this person is having an ending. It indicates in both places that there's an ending with the Queen of Wands. To go to this other Queen of Wands, which I do believe is you. I believe it's you and you're the one who's liberating yourself. I think that with this uh, lovers in the center here, I feel like you two are soulmates that cannot be pulled apart. I'm going to go into the extension. We're going to talk all about that. If you want to be there, please go there. It's the first link in the description below this video. Click on more. You'll see the link there. I'm going to go there and uh, I'll be back because I'm always back, Taurus. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.